My name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session with us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's question, I've been asked how I can save an assembly file as a single part. Quite often, it's quite useful to be able to send the whole of an assembly as a single document to someone so that then they can incorporate that into one of their designs. For example, with this file here, I've actually got an assembly which is the internals for a carving knife around which potentially another company could manufacture a casing. So within SolidWorks, in order to save this assembly as a part file, I need to go to the Save As menu. When we drop down this menu here, you see we have actually got the option for parts. We can either choose to just save the exterior faces of the file, exterior components in the file, or, or all components. When you save the item as a part file, what it will do basically is convert all of the parts we've got here to individual bodies. Let's go and open that document so we can have a look at it. There it is. You'll see here we've got each one of the single components there as a body, as we expected. Within this assembly though, there is another way of saving an assembly as a part file, which you may find useful, is the D feature tool under the tools menu. Within D feature you can actually go through and remove some of the important information within your design. For example, the internal components. Uh, and you typically use this tool if you didn't want someone to know how your design works and you wanted to protect the intellectual property. I can go through here and if I want to, I can allow groups to function uh, so that then I can basically save this file out um, with its motion included. So you create a group of components, for example, a group just here, and we'll actually convert that to a single part file. Uh, and then we could maybe have a group created from these or uh, a group created from uh, the spinning components in the middle. Okay, and each one of those would be a single piece uh, within a finished assembly. But if we choose the, the motion option, uh, we'll actually create an assembly rather than a single part. If you want to keep specific things like the fixings on, fi fixtures on your model, you can actually choose to actually select those uh, and then when you do come to save it out, it'll actually make sure those features still exist. It'll run through and remove certain pieces from your design uh, and give you a preview and you can see that it's uh, already remove things like this hole just here. Uh, let's have a look. There's also a hole missing on the end there as well, which is deleted out of the model. All those internal components have gone as well, uh, and we've no longer got the hole through the center. You can go in here and you can actually choose to remove other sections from your design as well. So you could choose to remove a specific feature on your model, like this one here, if you wanted to simplify the detail even more. Having gone through the process of saving the item out, you can then choose to save the file as a separate document. By hitting the tick, you can then save it as a part. So hopefully that shows you how you can save a whole assembly as a part file in SolidWorks. Thanks very much for watching.